Okay, so this video, we're going to try and approximate the value of e to the minus x squared centered at zero. Now, to do this, we use something called a Taylor series. Now, if you're going to try and evaluate this, you'll have come across Taylor series before. Now, the general formula for a Taylor series is f of x equals f of a plus f prime, which is first derivative at a over one factorial times x minus a plus f second prime at a times x minus a squared over two factorial and then keep going on plus f triple prime of a x minus a cubed over three factorial and you can just keep going on and on and on now you just remember this formula is quite an easy way to do it is here you could basically just say f of a so that's your first one f prime that's first derivative because it's first derivative it's over one factorial second derivative over two factorial third derivative three factorial and then it's always evaluated the, the derivative at a and you multiply it by x minus a and then you got to the power of one we could put an imaginary one here and same here really we could put x minus a to the zero which is just one anyway so we don't put that down and also as well we, here we could put a zero factorial which is one we don't need it okay so next thing we need to work out for all these values is what a is now a is just where we're trying to approximate the Taylor series so as we're centering at zero for this formula a equals zero so if we try and evaluate the Taylor series for e of minus x squared at zero x minus zero just becomes x so we can just simplify this up a little bit more so now we can say f of a plus f prime a times x over one factorial plus f2 so i'm going to put a two here this time you can put a two if you like a times x squared at uh, divided by two factorial plus f triple that's the triple derivative i.e third derivative a times x cubed over three factorial da 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 carrying on and as this is an approximation the more terms of x you use the closer you get to the value that you're looking for okay so we're looking for this one e to the minus x squared now what we can do we can just evaluate e to the minus x squared take the derivative so on and so on and just keep going just like when we do the basic ones but what we can do we know the taylor series for e to the x so for e to the x the taylor series which we already know what that is is one plus x plus x squared over two factorial plus x cubed over three factorial da, 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 da. we'll just stick to the third one on this that's fine okay and that's at zero as well so it's important that e to the x at zero we're trying to do this one centered at zero we can use this somehow so what we've got is here we've got e to the x but what we want is e to the minus x squared so what we can do is for each x we can just plug in minus x squared so if we sub minus x squared for x in e to the x that should give us something close to uh, what we do what we're, what we're looking for so let's go for e to the minus x squared so e to the minus x squared is therefore one that just stays the same plus x well for x we want minus x squared so we just put minus x squared now we've got here x squared over 2 factorial so plus so our x is now minus x squared so minus x squared squared 
over two factorial. And then now we've got x cubed, so plus minus x squared cubed over three factorial. Okay, so now we can simplify this up. One stays the same. Minus x squared plus is still minus x squared. So we can take that out and put minus x squared. Okay, so here we've got minus x squared squared. Well, x squared squared is to the power of four, but minus squared gives you a positive. So now we can say plus x, plus x to the four, And two factorial is over two. Okay, minus x squared cubed. So minus cubed is going to leave us with a minus. x squared cubed, that will give us x to the power of six. And then three factorial, that's divided by six. And then so on, so on, so on, so on. Okay, so by using e to the x centered at zero, we can find e to the minus x squared centered at zero very, very easily by just by using the e to the x Taylor series. And then that will give us our answer.